whole entire collection. It's just like having a big old stack of playing cards. Hey guys, your old pal Cenable here, and I want to make a video about why, to this day, after the time in history when when it was founded, we still need communism. Now, for any of you who don't know, communism is the idea of a nation sharing the wealth, and while some people call it distributing, um. If I were to ever start a country with a communist government, wink, wink, wait 12 years, um, I'd probably make it, like, have these company, like, these buildings, which you can put in money for other people to have. You know, kind of a share, share. Now, I know not all communist states are like this, but still, distributing is just as fine as sharing it. Well, I'm not explaining why we need communism. I'm just giving the difference between distributing. Because they technically are. Because, hey, a parent could make their child share a toy or something. Anyway, now on to why we actually need communism. Yeah, you're messing with me again. Fucking mud on my shoes. Go buy me another motherfucking pair. Dude, you got mud on them already. Don't Shut the fuck them. up and leave me the fuck alone. Stop following me. I'm not following you. I'm following my friend. I'm friendly. Yeah, you're a fucking dumbass. Is what you are. But you spit on my shoes. I got one little fucking strip on them. And I was fucking. And they're old shoes. Oh, yeah. These are old. I oh my god, look at them. They're fucking muddy and dirty. Sorry. I like you to take care of my shoes, down. sorry. I do, I have about 40 pairs. Oh, do you? Yeah. No, I have like 10. Because I like to take care of my shoes, you're gonna yes. sit there and say you're just fucking messing around because you wanna fucking have, step dude, all over I'm my not shoes. To, dude. You just dude, fucking dude. step all over my shoes and dude. rub your mud all over them. You knew what they were gonna fucking do. Wait, what kind of shoes are those? Shut the fuck up, Jacinto. You know what they are. They says Jordan and Flight on the back of them. And it has a Michael Jordan sign on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dick. I find this. I find it very funny, I'm sorry. I find I'm you fine. stupid. I find Dude, that. you spit on my shoes. Go home and fucking clean them. You're going to my house and you're cleaning them right now. I'm not cleaning your shoes. I'm you fine. spit on my shoes. What the fuck? You think it's okay for me to spit oh on my my god, shoes. one little fucking spot right there. So? Just one little fucking spot. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, there's a mud streak, mud streak, and I just fucking wiped it off, you dumbass. You just saw me. Dude, you spit on You're my shoes. You're a fucking dumbass. Dude, you spit on my shoes like it was okay, but once somebody does it back to you, you go, it's your fucking... Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, that's fucking messing around. That's messing around, both of my shoes. That's the second time you've done that. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Look. That figure decides that she's going to publicly shame you and tell you that you're full of hate? No, okay. You see no issue here. Never mind. There is an issue, but you don't need to say it out loud. You can talk to us after class. We are trying to watch something. It's cool that she publicly shames. Oh. Who will remember this last goodbye? Cause
Cause it's the end and I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to die I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to die I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to die between each other, and it sort of would lead to a stronger relationship. The ability to sort of just be true to yourself. I don't really like those types of women that are on Sex in the City, the ones that are obsessed with extremely material things. I mean, sure, it's okay to have a few material things. I have them myself, but to run around buying shoes all the time, which most likely you're not going to, like Imelda Marcos, I guess my biggest turn on would be a great conversationalist, someone who I'm able to talk with, I'm intrigued with, has a nice voice, and I'm, it has great eyes, of course, and I mean, even through glasses, I have, and I'm able to like just chat away without any realizing what the time is. <sighs> probably the one thing I'd probably change about myself would be I wish I were a little luckier on things. Like sometimes there's just some opportunities that I keep applying for and keep hoping for the best, and it just never seems to happen, or never no, nothing good ever seems to happen, come of it. And I just wish that maybe I had the luck in order to be able to let things happen to myself and I'll be able to advance further to get out and do more things and just be able to be bring more of myself to places which I think I'd be more useful to. Personally, I sort of have a weird nickname for myself, Ataru, who's based off this uh, character in a Japanese animated series called Arusei Atsuda. You'll probably get to know more about anime if you end up meeting me. And he's sort of like this luckless loser, this weirdo who always gets all this bad stuff happen to him, and yet somehow... For, like, a whole class of people to be poor. People need money. We can't just let people uh, be around just be homeless less because as they can't get jobs. Money is important, so that's another reason we need communism. And secondly, some people might say, oh, we have welfare. Welfare just promotes lazy people. And I don't know, I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure welfare, especially down in the United States, costs a bit of moolah. So yeah, all those morons saying that communism is the same as welfare, you can go leave because you are just an absolute moron. Just look up the definition of that. I'm sorry I got a little heated, but when people say it's the same as welfare, I get really angry. Anyway, yeah, that's why we still need communism. Bye. I am Sykes. You know why? I can't take the pain no more. Freaking Guitar Journal 1170 has been disabled. Like, I can't log in. I can't upload any videos. Because it's been disabled. YouTube has disabled Guitar Journal 1170 for two weeks. I'll be back on. Guitar General 1170. But, and the 19th, I mean, the um, 9th of January, and I will be back. And the, meanwhile, I'll be punching the walls, you know, because I'm so fucking upset that my General 1170 has been disabled. I mean, you can still check the channel out, but you can't, I can't log in or upload any videos. I can upload and videos on this channel, but not on my other channel. Because it's been disabled because of that shadow and that um, drunk video was freaking strike three and I'm out. No, two strikes. It's gonna be on my profile for six for six months. One more strike, then I'm suspended. So I see you on the 9th of January and. I'll see you at New Year's Day when I'll make another smoking in the shed video, maybe smoking in the garden. But I'll see you later. In a bit. Hello?